Cubs hosting the Braves and Chipper Jones unless they meet in the playoffs, playing his final game at Wrigley Field. Ryan Dempster greets him at home plate with the Braves flag. Nice treatment for Chipper before the game, but not so much during the game. In the second, Chipper is robbed by Starlin Castro. The spin move up the middle. Check it out again. He also gets some help at first base. Brian LaHare scooping the short hop. Tim Hudson was great on the hill for the Braves. He faced the minimum through three thanks to a double play. In the fourth, facing Starlin Castro. And Castro will send one down the right field line. Jason Hayward trying to make the play, but he can't quite get to it. It'll bounce down towards the Ivy. Castro rounding second as Hayward chases it down at the wall. They'll send Castro in looking for the inside the park home run, but he's gunned down. It'll go for his third triple of the year but all for naught. In the sixth, Paul Mahalam still going strong for the Cubs, facing Chipper again, and this time great defensive placement. Darwin Barney playing him just right up the middle to catch the line drive. In the seventh, still scoreless, runner on third for Brian LaHare. Brian LaHare, ground ball. Jack Wilson can't get it, Cubs lead. RBI single for Brian LaHare. 18th RBI on the season for LaHare, so the Cubs with the one to nothing lead. We head to the ninth, Rafael Dolis in looking for the save, facing pinch hitter Brian McCann. Ground ball, Starlin Castro. Cubs win, Cubs win, one nothing the final as Paul Mahalam gets his fourth consecutive victory, and the Cubs take two of three from the Braves, four of six on the homestand. Cubs win it one to nothing. Mahalam throws seven scoreless innings to improve to four and two. LaHare finished the game two for three, raising his average to 384. As for Hudson with the Braves, seven innings pitched, five hits, just a run in the loss.